Hi, Gran. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Busy? Mm-hmm. Well, I bet you're looking forward to the shop opening again, aren't you? Uh, get back to work. Oh, can't wait. Um, I've just seen Candice. She didn't know anything about going out with you tonight. Oh. So, are you not going out with her tonight? Because, um, you said you were. Yeah, I know. I, well, I just... I didn't want... What? Look, I'm going on a date, OK? With a fella? Yes. Look, this is why I didn't want to say anything, cos then the questions start. And then you start putting pressure on me, then you start worrying. No, I'm, um, I'm glad you're going out with boys. I, I hope you have a lovely time. Yeah. Nip down to the salon later, if you like. I'll do your hair. Really? Mmm. You're not going to ask me all about it? Well, um, you'll tell us when you're ready. Tea, ma'am. Oh, yes, please, my love, yes. <sighs> so, how's Bethany doing at school? You're not even going to ask me how old he is or where I met him? Well, if, if you want to tell us. Yeah, I mean, you know, you said yourself, my darling. I mean, you have been living in a goldfish bowl for the last year. I mean, we quite understand if you don't want to tell us. Yeah, as long as you're happy. Yes, that's all that matters. Well, if you must know, his name's Scooter. I met him on the bus. There was only one seat left and he gave it to me. He's 19 and he has got a job and he lives on the other side of town. So there you go. You happy now? 